Hi, you are welcome to this class and you are welcome to JHS1. We are going to do integrated science today. My name is Auntie Mary, as you know me. Today we are going to learn about introduction to integrated science and the subtopic is meaning of the term science. Meaning of the term science. Okay, so we are going to look at the meaning, okay, because we don't have a specific definition for science. Okay, we have a whole lot, so we are going to look at a few of them here. Good. So when we talk of science, what comes into your mind? Write it down. You can pause the video and write it down so that you compare your answer to mine. Okay. Good. Let's continue. The term science is from a Latin word scientia, which means knowledge. Okay. Now we are going to look at the term science itself, the explanations. When we say science, okay, the first one says science is the result of humans' effort to understand and explain the world around them. Your effort to understand the world in which we are living in and to explain a science so your effort to understand why the leaf on the plant is green the result you get from your effort okay is called science okay your effort to understand and explain why ants okay is black a science your effort to understand and explain why a green t-shirt shows green and a light is science. Okay, now let's move on. Let's, let's look at another meaning. Science refers to a system of acquiring knowledge. Science refers to a system of acquiring knowledge when you want to when you're acquiring knowledge you do research okay so when you research about something okay you get knowledge about it and that knowledge is science okay let's move on science can also be expressed as the study of nature and what it has in stock for humans the study of nature and what that nature has in stock for human is science okay good then it is also the knowledge attained from the study and practice it is also the knowledge attained through study and practice so the knowledge you attain or the knowledge you obtain through studies and practice okay through studies and practice is science okay so any of these explanations is accepted any of these four explanations is accepted we have a whole lot of them but we are taking this four okay Let's move on. Science is a broad field of study that has been divided into two major branches. Science is a broad field of study that has been divided into two major branches. 
namely natural science and applied science the two branches of science are natural science and applied science now let's look at natural science first natural science what is natural science we have to look at the meaning of science so let's go to natural science you can pause the video you write your definition or your explanation down then you compare it with mine let's continue natural science it is the study of the natural world and its phenomena it focuses on the laws of nature and the physical world natural science has several branches natural science too is having several branches namely physics physics i hope you have heard about this physics we have chemistry we have biology we have geology astronomy and meteorology there are more but we are taking the six okay now we are moving on to we are taking them one by one okay so that we get the explanation for them now the first one is physics what is physics it is the study of matter and energy and their interactions it is the study of matter and energy and their interactions that's a simple explanation to physics. Let's move on. Biology. It is the study of living things, that is plants and animals, and their interactions with one another and the environment. It deals with the study of life. So when we talk of biology, that should come to your mind. This explanation should come to your mind. Okay, as we go ahead, we study them into details. Now, chemistry. Chemistry. It deals with the properties, composition, and the structure of matter. It also deals with chemical reactions, changes in matter, and the principles govern those changes so anytime we talk of chemistry this explanation should come into your mind that's the simple explanation to chemistry okay then the next one that's geology it is the study of the earth and its origin composition and the structure of matter geology it deals with all the celestial celestial bodies in the universe including the planets and satellites comets the stars the galaxies and clusters of galaxies metrology 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 is the science that studies atmospheric events especially those that relate to the weather and when we say a metrologist who is a metrologist is a scientist who uses scientific principles to explain understand observe 
or forecast the Earth's occurrences and how the atmosphere affects the Earth and life on the planet. Now we are done with the natural science. We are moving on to the applied science. Let's look at the applied science. It is the study of the use of scientific knowledge. It is the study of the use of scientific knowledge for practical use. It is the study of the use of scientific knowledge for practical use. It is the application of research to human needs. It is the application of research to human needs. Applied science uses the knowledge acquired in pure science. Applied science uses the knowledge acquired in pure science. Someone may ask, what is pure science? What is pure science? Let's see. Pure science is also known as natural science or basic science or fundamental science. So whenever you see natural science, basic science, fundamental science or pure science, they are all the same. Okay? they are all the same we have already talked about natural science and now we are talking about pure science so you know they are all the same so applied science uses the knowledge acquired in natural science okay or you can say applied science uses the knowledge acquired in basic science or you can say applied science uses the knowledge acquired in fundamental science okay Branches of applied science. Applied science too is having branches. Okay, so we are going to look at the branches applied in the branches of applied science. Okay. We have medicine. We have medicine. We have pharmacy, engineering, electronics, agriculture, information communication technology, that is ICT. There are more, but we are going to look at this field. Okay. Of integrated science meaning of integrated science what is integrated science pause the video write your meaning or your explanation down then you compare it with mine okay when we talk of integrated science it involves the teaching and learning of the natural science in a holistic manner such that none of the fields stands on its own or such that the various fields of science are interrelated okay the various fields of science are related by the fact that they all use the scientific method of solving problems therefore in the integrated approach to learning science, the various fields has been grouped under five teams. So we are going to look at it, those five teams. The five teams are diversity of matter, diversity of matter. Cycles, cycles, systems, 
systems energy energy interruptions of matter these themes cover a core body of concepts in both life and physical sciences the body of the body of the concept has been chosen because it provides a broad-based understanding of the environment in which we live in. Good. We have come to the end of today's lesson. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Science is not difficult. Okay. So we are going to follow the steps one by one. Okay. You read you read over you do research okay and it will be easy for you science is not difficult at all okay so i'm going to meet you next week again with our next lesson continue to study more about science okay and you'll see it's easy see you next week bye bye